Hello all, welcome to my channel Learning Oasis. In this video, we are going to see the uses of aggregate function. So aggregate function can be clubbed with other functions that we are currently using uh, in order to uh, better utilize those functions that are available. So this is the data we have here. So if you see, we have calculated the total row wise and column wise. And again, I have made use of the normal sum function that we regularly use. But whenever there is a there is an error data, for instance, if you do a VLOOKUP or something, right, if the value is not available, it will show up error value. So in such cases, it will be hard to use the SUM function. So for that, instead of SUM, we can use the aggregate function. And similarly, uh, when you are calculating the row total, for instance, if you are applying filter, say, for example, if you want to apply filter, so I have removed two rows by applying filter, but still uh, the sum value remains the same. So even that can be modified using the aggregate function. So let's see one by one. So before proceeding, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe it. So let's get started. So basically I have used the normal sum function here, which everybody is aware of. So instead of that, I'm going to try the aggregate function now to exclude the errors. So let's see how to do it. So aggregate of so it will give you the list of other functions that can be utilized within aggregate function so for instance here we need sum if it is average or count whatever it is you can make utilize of now we are going to select sum here so for that the number nine and then it will give you the list of options which you want to ignore okay for instance for calculating the total for the columns all i need to ignore is the error so I'm going to select number six, which says ignore error values. And then now I'm going to select the range. So this is my range. So next thing is we have to select the range. So this is the range I have to select from Jan till June. So I'll close the bracket, hit enter. So even though there is an error value, you're still able to get the sum. So I'm just going to drag it. So this thing is taken care of now. So next thing, here you have the sum of the rows, right? So for that, you will have to again modify. Instead of sum, I'm going to use the aggregate function. in sum that's number nine and then while selecting the condition right what has to be ignored instead of selecting ignore error values let's go ahead and select ignore hidden rows and error values so i'm going to select seven and then select the range so this is my range so i'm going to drag it okay so we are done so now let's let's test if you are able to uh, achieve the option of ignoring certain rows by filtering. So now I'm going to remove pen and pencil. So if you see the sum value automatically changes to 906, that is the sum of these three alone. Whichever rows we have filtered, that has ignored it, right? So let's remove the filter. If you see, it will come back to its original value. So this is the use, primary use of aggregate function. There are other uses as well, but this I thought like many of us would use and it would be helpful. So please leave your comments if this was helpful for you or not. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. Thank you all.